Hello everyone, welcome to another video on CICSP exam question and answer series. In today's video, we will study the domain 7 that is security operations. So let's get started. The question number one is that what type of backup is obtained during the response, also known as the containment phase of incident response. And the options are incremental backup, full backup, differential backup or binary backup. And the correct option is the binary backup. So the binary backup is the bit by bit backup during which the complete storage backup is taken including the unallocated space that may contain the deleted data. And it is then so, so that the forensically uh, suitable backup is taken that can be used in the later stages. Question number two is that what is the primary goal of disaster recovery planning or DRP process? And the options are integrity of data, preservation of business capital, restoration of business processes, and safety of personnel. And the correct option is the safety of personnel. So the safety of personnel is the most significant factor that is kept in mind while uh, uh, planning the DRP process. All the other factors are also correct, but the most significant is always the safety of personnel. The question number three is that what business process can be used to determine the outer bound, outer bound of maximum tolerable downtime or MTD? And the options are accounts receivable, invoicing, payroll, and shipment of goods. And the correct option is the payroll. So the payroll is the, one of the most important factor while measuring the MTD because if uh, the pay of the employees are affected, then the business operation of the organization are certainly going to be affected. The question number four is that your maximum tolerable downtime is 48 hours. What is the most effective alternate site choice? So we have the options of cold site, hot site, redundant site, and warm site. And the correct option is, so the warm site, this is a site that can be activated within days or within uh, the maximum uh, downtime of 48 hours while the redundant time it uh, does not require any downtime it is uh, uh, during the redundant site the disruption of operation or just uh, uh, not my, not visible to the end user so when you shift to the redundant site the user don't see any disruption it is just like an active active operational site. Both the sites are active at the same time. The hard site is just like redundant, but uh, it needs backup and this can be made operational within few hours. Let's suppose one to three hours. While the cold site, this needs the most of the time and uh, in the, uh, the, uh, the time required to activate the cold site maybe in the weeks. So for 24 or 48 hours, we need the warm site choice. Question number five is that a structured walkthrough test is also known as what kind of test and the options are checklist, simulation, tabletop exercise or walkthrough deal. And the correct option is the tabletop exercise. So this is also known as the structured walkthrough test. Question number six is that which type of backup will include only those files that have changed since the most recent full backup? And the options are full, differential, incremental, and binary. And the correct option is the differential backup. So the differential backup is used to take the backup of all the changes that have been uh, taken place since the last full backup. Question number seven is that which type of tape 
backup requires a maximum of two tapes to perform a restoration and the options are differential backup, electronic vaulting, full backup or incremental backup. So again the correct answer is the differential backup. Question number 8 is that what statement regarding the business continuity plan is true and the options are BCP and DRP are separate but equal plans. BCP is an overarching umbrella that includes other focused plans such as DRP. Option 3 is DRP as an overarching umbrella plan that includes other focused plans such as BCP. And the last option is that COOP is an overarching umbrella plan that includes other focus plans such as BCP. And the correct option is that the BCP is the over, an overarching umbrella plan that includes other focus plans such as DRP. So the BCP is the superset or the bigger plan that also includes the DRP. Plan. It is the overarching umbrella plan that includes other focus plans such as DRP. The question number 9 is that which HA or high availability solution involves multiple system of all of which are online and actively processing traffic or data in the options are active active cluster, active passive cluster, database scheduling, remote journaling and the correct option is the active active cluster so as the name indicates in this all the systems are active at the same time so this is the HS solution in which all the systems are processing and online at the same time question number 10 is that what plan is designed to provide effective coordination among the managers of the organization in the event of an emergency or disruptive event and the options are call tree, continuity of support plan, crisis management plan or crisis communication plan. And the correct option is yes, the crisis management plan. And this also includes the other uh, plans such as the communication plan and the call tree. Question number 11 is that which plan detail the steps required to restore normal business operation after recovery from a disruptive event and the options are business continuity plan, business resumption plan, continuity of operation plan and occupant emergency plan and the correct option is the business resumption plan or business recovery plan. Question number 12 is that what metric describes how long it will take to recover a failed system and the options are minimum minimum operating requirements or MOR, mean, mean time between failures, MTBF, the mean time to repair, MTTR or the recovery point objective, RPO. And the correct option is the MTTR or the mean time to recover. This is how long it takes to recover a failed system. Question number 13 is that what metric describes the moment in time in which data must be recovered and made available to the users in order to resume business operation? And the options are again mean time between failures, the mean time to repair, recovery point objective or recovery time objective. And the correct option is the recovery point objective or RPO is the exact moment in time during which data must be recovered. Question number 14 is that maximum tolerable downtime or MTD is comprised of which two metrics and the options are recovery point objective and recovery and work recovery time. Option 2 is recovery point objective and mean time to repair. Option 3 is recovery time objective and work recovery time. And option 4 is recovery time objective and mean time to repair. And the correct option is the recovery time objective and work recovery time. 
लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट विच लेवल ऑफ रेड डज नॉट प्रोवाइड एडिशनल रिलायबिलिटी एंड दी ऑप्शन आर रेड वन रेड फाइव रेड जीरो और रेड थ्री एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज रेड जीरो सो रेड जीरो प्रोवाइड्स जीरो रिलायबिलिटी और अवेलेबिलिटी सो दैट्स ऑल दैट्स वर ऑल द क्वेश्चन फ्राम डोमेन सेवन I will upload the video for the domain at uh, very soon. So, if you haven't subscribed, so please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.